Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com, BiannualBlogathonBash.com, and welcome to our daily vlog. So, I went out today, um, I went to Planet Fitness this morning, I got two hydro massages, um, one before I worked out on the treadmill and one after. I did about 13 minutes and a little over on the treadmill. Uh, 10 minutes of regular, and then 3 minutes and something of cool down. I did feel pretty tired afterwards. Um, I'm really out of shape and not able to do what I was before COVID. Um, it's pretty empty in there. Um, a few people, most not wearing masks. I had mine on. Um few people had a mask on, but a lot of people just did not. And I understand it's really hard to work out in the mask. I chose to keep mine on. Um, I don't know if you have to, but one, just for safety. But two, I got to thinking. And some situations, you'd have a gas mask or something on, you know, if things got really, really bad. And so possibly learning to be okay with the mask on in a survival situation might not be a bad thing to practice with right now. Um, hopefully things don't get any worse than they are, but who knows? Um, a lot of people felt like my prepping and my thinking that something like this was going to happen in the future was just crazy. But here we are. Um, so we know it wasn't. Uh... Jeff is still not home. People at where he works have COVID and are out. A lot of people missing work. Um, the mayor has sent out a letter today that city employees are to work from home if at all possible. He did not do this this spring. So that tells me that things are definitely getting worse as far as, you know, the county. I know we're in red, um, but the city employees and stuff, it must be getting worse because, like I said, this spring he didn't do it. And there was state mandates, and basically, as far as I know, Grant County was pretty well open. I mean, yes, we had some restrictions, but I don't remember a letter like this unless I just totally missed it. Uh, I was pretty caught up in mask making for people, but... I, I really don't remember hearing a lot from the mayor. And I imagine as winter rolls on, it's going to get worse. I just found out uh, that Tanner from Makers Going to Learn has COVID, as well as his wife, um, some members of his family and his crew. So definitely prayers out for them. And it's just, it's kind of crazy how it's spreading. Some people have said that as soon as the uh, new president takes office that this is all going to be over. I don't know. I really feel like it was an attack on the world. I really feel like it was a, a you know, intentional situation that we have going on here. And I can't prove it, of course. Some people would say conspiracy theories, but, you know, I mean, it could be, it could not be. So you can make your own judgment on that. But with the news of a certain country attacking the um, vaccine supply chain, yeah, um, all you have to do is put two and two together, and that number four is not a very comforting one. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to get off here because I have been really, really thirsty. Not COVID-related, but um, I'm eating too much sugar is what I'm doing, and it's making me really thirsty because I do have issues with sugar. The eating too much sugar is definitely COVID related because I was doing a lot better pre-COVID. And now that I'm home so much, you know, I just want to eat everything. 
and I'm sure you can relate to that. So anyway, uh, please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great night.